guys. It's good to see you. I haven't filmed a video in a little while, so as always, I feel like I need to settle into it. You might notice I am just about over a cold, so if you hear a little croakiness in my voice, that's what that is. I'm also house sitting once again, so I'm in a different location. You can hear the cockatoos outside. It's starting to become dusk now. The evening birds are coming in, getting ready for the night. stay out a couple weeks ago because I had planned for my 200th video that I was going to do a reaction video and I filmed it and I was trying to edit it and I was having so much trouble um, and basically, I thought it was getting in the way of my creativity. Like, I didn't feel like I could film any other videos because it was supposed to be my 200th. So, I've been putting it off and... Anyway, I thought I just needed to move on from it. It wasn't working, and so... Yeah, I'm just gonna move forward. And I felt very inspired to share some things with you today. that I've bought. Sort of a haul video. These are things that I've gotten over the last mm, month, maybe. Yeah. I'm just tapping on the desk. I hope that sounds nice. First thing I got actually is this t-shirt. I don't know, I think it's probably backwards. <laughs> Hush. It says free hugs and then just kidding. it was very funny. I've always been somewhat touch averse and um, finding out that I'm autistic actually um, kind of explained a lot in that regard. Um, so I just thought this was funny because <laughs> I'm generally like no one touching me. I'm not really a, a hug person. So. Once again, the dog I'm looking after is hanging around. He's been very clingy 
and sooky the last few days. So if you hear weird gremlin noises, that's him. <laughs> Hopefully he just relaxes and goes to bed. with some very special things. He kind of snores. So, I'm oh, really sorry if you can hear him like snoring. But I know if I close the door, he's going to start whining. So, I kind of have to deal with it. <laughs> sorry. So I mentioned had a good day. So I went to a art gallery in a nearby town. I went with a friend and I went a few weeks ago with my mum and then I went back um, with a friend today. It's a very special display on at the moment. And I bought a few things from the gift shop. This is a puzzle. for my mom. Her birthday is next month. I thought this box sounds amazing. So this artist is Anamika Mai. She has just turned 80. It's a little heavy, sorry. And she's known across the world, but she actually grew up and lived in the same area that I live. She was born in the Netherlands. But her family moved here to Australia when she was a child. Her art medium is textiles. She does beautiful artworks using fabrics and embroidery with 3D textures. And most of them are so I had the amazing opportunity to go and see her artwork in the flesh twice. Let's see if I can show you up close. Can you see? stitching. It's done on a sewing machine. Even up here. Can you see that? This is a print, of course. <laughs> Just a photo. And then the leaves are actually standing out.
also got this little pin. This is another one of her artworks. And then they've made this little pin. Which I think is super cute. And I do like to collect pins. And I also bought two postcards of, um, you know, prints, artwork prints. So this was one of my favorite, favorite pieces in the gallery. And seeing it in person really was incredible. Um, it actually looks so different in person. It just doesn't have the same impact on a print, <laughs> but still beautiful. This artwork, I would say it was about four feet tall. She uses padding, all of the embroidered stitching in there, and all through the butterfly or the moth wings. This one we have this owl and again in person was unbelievable. I would say this was about the same size, maybe four feet tall, three or four feet. incredible detail you can get a sense of how it's made and then 3D elements the bark peeling off falling down just incredible once-in-a-lifetime experience and I felt like I was a little part of history. I was a part of this exhibition in a small way. Be so cool if you had, you'll have to let me know. She's been creating these artworks since the 70s, I think. So my mum had one of her books, and I used to love looking through it when I was growing up. of beautiful trees. 
treasures, including this treasure box. So ornate and intricate. It's a sort of a velvet inside. I actually got this from an op shop. dollars which was way too much but the last time I went in they had it marked down to fifteen dollars and since I'd had my eye on it for a while I thought I would buy supposed to be a jewelry box but I think I'm gonna have it as like a treasure box and keep precious trinkets treated myself a little and got myself some perfume some inexpensive perfume <laughs> but it's still not something I generally um, I don't know like allow myself to something I usually justify but I really really just wanted to smell nice and so I thought it was worth putting a bit of money towards let me actually show you this is the box shiny super glossy like a kind of a silvery color with pink circles lots and lots and lots and it's called Born Lovely created by Sarah Jessica Parker I have been using it. I put it back in the box purely so I could tap on the box.
raindrop. I think the sound is so delicate. loose around the neck. It's on a bit of elastic. I don't really love it um, in the front. I think on the back like that is quite nice. And the lid is plastic with a ribbed Smells a bit like a cross between fruity and floral. And it also has a fresh quality. It's not overly sugary sweet, it's also very fresh and clean. We've got a few more cutesy things. One of them is the latest addition to my little family. My little Squishmallow family. <laughs> I thought this little lady was so cute. I think She's a yeti. What do you think? Her name is Ronalda. <laughs> Get no fancy. Ronalda. used to be my least favourite colour. But personally, I, over the years, um, kind of challenged myself 
to try not to dislike any colours and just appreciate them for what they are. <laughs> and this shade of purple in particular, I've actually really grown to like. It's washed out a little bit on the camera, but um, like it's a little bit brighter, but same sort of I don't know, I guess lavender type tone. This one is called a Palm Pal. So it sits in your palm like this. There's this gorgeous little dragon. It's super soft and velvety. Tiny little gold. named this one yet. What do you think? It's just so precious. I couldn't leave the store without this one. I've kept the tag on for now because it is actually some new fidget toys little squishy sushis <laughs> I'll take them out of the packaging but gotta tap on it first of course haven't played with them much because they smell really bad. They smell like paint or like um, like a sharpie smell. Very, very chemical smell. But I thought they were so cute and they were just really, really cheap. So I thought, why not? It's pretty cool.
I don't even really know what they're supposed to be, but I love the shape of them. This sounds like mouth sounds. <laughs> I'll just do it really gently for you. Some people will love that, some people will hate it. So I've got this one. Inside is like, it kind of looks like ice. It's just kind of chunks of like rubbery. They sounded actually quite interesting. What do you think? I think it sounds really cool because it is dry. And I actually thought of, like it looked really interesting. I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but let's try it. easier if the camera was looking down at my hands, I think. But anyway, the last one is like more of a typical Orbeez. Kind of like a marshmallow, just squeeze it. <laughs> the last things I just wanted to briefly show you a couple of sewing patterns. So, <laughs> he's drinking some water. It 
still going. Okay, there we go. <laughs> so this is actually a Vogue, a Vogue pattern. And I got this um, and the other one for like a super, super mega deal. Um, they had a deal going, um, the store had a deal going, um, three patterns for $20, which is already a really good deal because most of the patterns are um, $20 each. And so it was three for the price of one, basically. And I grabbed a couple of Vogue patterns because they are more expensive. And the lady at checkout said that, um, you know, she was concerned because she didn't think Vogue patterns were included in the sale. She said, you know, pretty sure in the fine print it said excluding Vogue patterns. But she scanned them and they came up in the system um, with the reduced price. So she said, just take it. If it's coming up in the system, just take the deal. So I got them for $6 each instead of Because they're so expensive, so I I don't generally buy Vogue patterns. But as you can see, this one is very unique and interesting. I will be using different colours and fabrics, of course, but it's like this mismatch of all different things going on. It even requires some um ties, like men's ties. It looks like quite a challenge, but even if I don't make it for a little while, I, you know, I'm still happy to have it. And then this is the other one. It's also like it's not quite as crazy but also very asymmetrical very interesting shapes I love when things um, have the asymmetry and have opportunity for matching different fabrics together so this is the same outfit um, just with long sleeves and short sleeves showing different fabrics. It's actually not a dress. You can see on the back here. It's actually a top. Long sleeves or sleeveless. And then a skirt. Very interesting shape. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Thank you for letting me show all of these cool things to you. What I think are cool things anyway. Which one was your favourite? I think my favourite sounds are definitely that first jigsaw box.
Love's